One of the best pieces of advice I could give for anyone trying to increase their, their productivity with inside of their employer base is great communication, great processes and building a culture that which really works for that business. Uh, an example of that would be uh, for the clients and middle management not communicating down to the workforce at a lower level. Um, what I've found in the past is as soon as you start to open up team meetings that are productive, the productivity raises. Employee productivity is basically a function of, um, of empowerment. If you empower your employees and give them the right parameters in order to be able to make the right decisions for customers, they'll be able to get more done because they won't be constantly asking for permission, they won't be sending you new emails asking you how, you know, how can I do this, may I do that. If, you're, if you trust your employees and you believe that they're going to act in the best interest of your customers, then empower them to do so and they will get along much more than if they're constantly having to refer back to a managerial um, um, layer in the organisation. So really, give them empowerment, give them some uh, tolerances within which to work and then let them get on with it. Yeah, you'll find they'll do an awful lot more as a result of doing that. I would look at businesses that are trying to grow and they're looking at how they uh, can improve their uh, employee productivity is to think about what they're actually asking their staff to do. Do your staff really know what's expected of them? Do they know how they're supposed to achieve that? And are they given all the resources available to be able to meet those targets and meet those achievements? If not, then productivity will be affected. There's lots of great things you can do to encourage and empower your staff, to give them more responsibility where it's needed and to reward them. And rewards don't have to be monetary. They can be little things like having a duvet day. Uh, it all makes a huge amount of uh, uh, enthusiasm and uh, creating that buzz within the team. And that's what I do here, is to try and get all my team fired up about what they're, what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. But they all know what they've got to do. Productivity is sometimes a bit of a, a, bit of a bane of a business, small business's life. Uh, you, you are looking at it's more than just giving people having skills, it's how they utilise them and deploy them within the, within the business for the benefits of the business. So three key areas I would look at for increasing employee productivity would be around have they setting clear goals, have they got a clear understanding of what their role is within the business, is, are their objectives smart, are they measurable, uh, are they achievable? Uh, and are, are their objectives evaluated? I think every employee who feels that they've got a, a, a place to fit and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a place to be within the business is, 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 a, is a better environment to, to operate, creates a better environment to operate in. The, the, second, the second point would be around sort of training programmes and, 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 and development programmes of our employees. Uh, it's often an area overlooked by, by, by small to medium sized enterprises, that, but it's obviously a valuable, it's clearly a valuable uh, benefit to, to them. Um, so whether how again how we look at formal training, specific training, on the job training, it can be making time within the day to take out the time and study around industry briefings or the sector that you're operating. Just making that time to create a formal uh, environment for, for training and learning for the employee. Um, and the, and the sort of third area will be around the being able to provide feedback, evaluation, and constructive criticism. I think that's a really important key way where you, where you, where you build it, getting the most out of your out of your staff, um, undertaking appraisal processes, uh, giving positive feedback uh, and, and constructive criticism in a positive manner to again build the, build the confidence and build build the. Uh, sense of well-being of that employee within the workplace creates a better, a better environment. In order for a business to create growth within it, it has to engage its employees uh, because an unhappy employee means that the productivity is going to be down. So really they need to consider uh, how they are within the business and making sure that they're doing the right role um, and that they're engaged. And they might look to possibly do things outside of work, uh, do you know, team building events or perhaps go out on a night out or something. Um, but also maybe do an employee opinion survey uh, just to gauge how they actually feel within the role and what they think of the management. I worked with a client recently who has a very interesting business philosophy. They, they, they believe that it's not the amount of hours that you work, it's the productivity and what you achieve in that time. So they have very short, shorter days than most businesses would have. The boss decides whether he's going to come in or not. Yeah, he entrusts his staff to do the right things. You know, and he says to them, you know, he's created a culture in which they can do those. He's set up very customer focused processes so that the customer feels that they've been well attended to on a very personal level. And, and it's working very well. All the staff are very happy. They've seen the contribution they're making. 
and they're getting excellent customer feedback from having that parameters, those, those um, cultural elements in order to be able to do the very best they can for the customer.